Does the E46 M3 and E39 M5 represent the last hoorah of the golden era of BMW? Let's find out. Welcome to Stance Bros, your ultimate pit stop to all things automotive, where we eat, sleep, and breathe horsepower, torque, and that need for speed. It's a simple truth. The world of automotive engineering is in constant evolution. The machines we love so dearly are not immune to the passage of time or the influences of changing markets, laws, and technologies. However, occasionally, these shifts can signal the end of an era. Today, we focus on BMW, a brand that has always held a certain aura of mystique and reverence. Specifically, we're talking about two of its most iconic models, the E46 M3 and E39 M5. In many ways, these cars represent the final bow of what many consider the golden era of BMW. The E46 M3, a driver's dream, was introduced in the early 2000s and quickly gained cult-like status among car enthusiasts. Its naturally aspirated 3.2-liter inline six, producing an impressive 343 horsepower in Europe and 333 horsepower in North America, and rear-wheel drive layout gave it a lively character that continues to excite drivers today. Meanwhile, the E39 M5, BMW's high-performance iteration of their 5-series saloon, fitted with a howling 4.9-liter V8 that churned out 400 horsepower, was the perfect blend of comfort, performance, and style. These two machines not only pushed the limits of what BMW cars could achieve, but also, arguably, marked the conclusion of a fascinating chapter in the automaker's history. Why, you might ask? Let's start by looking at the engines. Today, in an age where forced induction and electrification are kings, the naturally aspirated power plants found in the E46 M3 and E39 M5 seem almost archaic. But back then, these engines were at the pinnacle of automotive engineering. They delivered raw, unadulterated performance, a unique soundtrack that pierced through the monotony of commuter traffic, and an emotional connection that seems so elusive today. The S54 B32, found under the bonnet of the E46 M3, was a masterclass in engine design. It delivered power smoothly and progressively, rewarding drivers who dared to venture into the upper echelons of the rev range. The S62 V8 and the E39 M5, on the other hand, offer brutal acceleration and a torque curve as flat as a pancake. Both power plants have character, a tangible heartbeat that today's turbocharged engines often struggle to replicate. Moreover, the E46 M3 and E39 M5 were the last of their breed to be offered exclusively with manual transmissions, giving drivers a sense of control and involvement that automatic gearboxes can never quite match. They demanded your attention, your involvement, your skill. They were cars that challenged and rewarded you. Machines that served up experiences untamed by modern safety features or electronic gimmicks. Then there's the matter of aesthetics. The design language used on both models is beautifully minimalist and timeless without the ostentatious aggression of today's M cars. The E46 M3 and E39 M5 exude class and understated potency. They're refined, but menacing, and there's a sense of harmony to their designs that's hard to ignore. If you would like to support the channel and help us grow, please visit our shop at stancebros.com for great automotive enthusiast merch, and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more car content. Today's M cars, for all their technical prowess, seems to lack the soul and charm of their predecessors. They're faster, more technologically advanced, and undoubtedly brilliant pieces of engineering but they lack the unfiltered, driver-oriented focus of the E46 M3 and E39 M5. There's an undeniable sense that, with the introduction of forced induction, electric assistance, and increasingly complex electronics, BMW has lost some of the magic that made these earlier models so special. In conclusion, the E46 M3 and E39 M5 were, in many ways, the perfect expressions of BMW's core values the ultimate driving machines. They had engaging, naturally aspirated engines, manual gearboxes, a driver-focused ethos, and timeless designs. Since these models, BMW's M division has continued to produce excellent cars, but none that have quite captured the same magic. For many, the E46 M3 and the E39 M5 represent the end of BMW's golden era, 
a time where driving enjoyment was paramount and machines were built to stir the soul. Thank you for watching, and before you go, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more car content. And let us know in the comments below what cars get you excited.